Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is your girl Curvy Brie and I'm back with a new video. This is my two month update of my VSG surgery. We are finally at two months and I got so much to share with you guys. And the first things first is my weight loss, okay? I have my weight loss tracker right here that I just put back up. And you guys know that my goal is 180. I had changed my goal because that was my previous goal before the surgery to reach 197 and now my new goal is 180. I am currently 246 that is 50 pounds down from 296 which is my pre-op um my pre-op weight before I started the pre-op diet and then I was 291 the day of surgery so you guys already know that you know but I just want to show you guys my weight loss tracker where I just you know x off each and every um weight that I get to and then that just keeps me up to date you know to keep going keep fighting and you know just keep going you know it's, it's good to check off some numbers instead of just looking at the number on the scale yeah actually doing before and after pictures you're doing your weight loss tracker so it just it just gives me the motivation every single day what i want to talk about is vitamins and other medications i am still currently on my acid reflex medicine um i still do get acid reflex even if i take the medicine um i'm not sure why um but i still do get a little bit of acid reflex like my throat be kind of burning a little bit so i'm not sure about that but i will speak to my surgeon um when i go to my visit in the next two weeks um as far as vitamins honey i'm gonna keep it real um i think the last two weeks of january i have not taken one vitamin the lady who recommended that that orange cream is disgusting it's, it's nasty I, I don't know i'm not i'm not a big fan of it but i spoke to my surgeon um last month during my visit and he all he is the one who told me that i can actually start taking pills this month so thank god thank you jesus um i don't know as far as my thyroid medicine um i'm still taking the same dosage but i will find out next week if my dosage needs to go up or down those are the currently the only three well four medications i'm taking but here is the bariatric fusion vitamins this is this is wonderful um pop it right back just one per day multivitamin capsules this is it um and i was told to get the one with the arn um 45 mg so this is what i was told that i needed to get um, she also told me to take the calcium citrate um, chewables. I was like, yo, I'm over chewables. I'm over it. I'm over it. I am over chewables. I was like, I'm not even about to waste my money and get the pay $15 for those chewables. She was like, get the pills. So this one is from GNC. They did not have the ones that are up to 1200 they only have the one that's up to a thousand so each pill is 500 um mg so i need to take in fit between 1200 and 1500 mg so i'm just going to take three of these a day so this is from gnc this was 14.99 and these pills was 20.99 to uh not 29.99 and i got an express shipping so i could start them as fast as possible so um yeah this is my vitamins that i take on a daily basis along with my harbor medicine and also my thyroid medicine so that's the only pills that i take um as far as food stages and how much i'm eating um i am supposed to be eating between four to five ounces trust me i have my days and i have my meals where i only eat two ounces sometimes i only eat three sometimes i've only eaten four um i have not reached up to five I, I can't seem to get to five so i'm at like four and a half but it just depends on my day like i told you guys in my last video um which was my what i eat in a day um for the soft foods and um like i said i have my days when i'm not hungry and i have my days when i eat a lot and i'm able to consume a lot and then i have my days where i can't eat a lot like it's, it's just the norm for me especially when i'm drinking so much water um i'm drinking my protein shakes um it's just it's just it's just a lot um right now my currently on 
the final stage, which is just regular diet. Um, so I have to eat all healthy foods. I can honestly eat anything I want right now. Um, and my job is to stay healthy, um, you know, during this time, eating all healthy foods, sticking to my measurements, um, and, you know, just living a normal life now. It's time to live a normal life. We have completed our eight weeks. Um, and that's as far as food stages. You know, I'm actually enjoying this now. Like, I tell you, the weight is good. The weight is good because, you know, you never think that you could get through it, but I did it. I did it. I got through the um, liquids phase. I got through the parade stage. I got through the um, soft food stage. And, um, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling good because now I'm at like the regular stage. So, thank God. Thank God. Um, so as far as regular food, you guys know I will be dropping a what I eat a day for regular foods. I'll probably switch that one up and do like a meal prep day. So stay tuned for that video. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, okay? Hit that subscribe button so you can stay up to date with my videos. Especially if you're getting VSG, thinking about getting VSG, um, you're not, you don't know what you want to do. Um, oh, you already have VSG and you are in the early stages and you want to update of what mom two is like for me. Um, as far as if I'm hungry or not, I stated this already. I have my days when I'm not hungry. I have my days when I'm hungry. Um, usually I do not eat breakfast. Um, I'm gonna give you a typical day. I don't eat breakfast. Um, I just I just don't I don't be hungry in the morning and um towards lunch lunch can literally be at three o'clock three p.m. because I don't know it's something about the coffee in the morning and then when I do my protein shake I, ju I just don't be hungry um so by three o'clock I'll have lunch and then right after the gym it will be eight o'clock and then I'll have dinner um right now I am currently I do want to keep you guys aware I am currently not on my soft, my regular diet right now. I mean, I am, but um, right now I am fasting. Um, due to some spiritual reasons, religious reasons, I am um, fasting. Um, so you guys will get an update on that later on. That's a whole other topic. But um, I don't expect that. Um, don't expect that meal prep right now um as far as regular foods because right now i'm like on a very religious diet um a religious fast so right now my diet is kind of just consists of fruits and vegetables and that's it um so stay tuned for that video as well um constipation i am currently taking this which is Marilax. I talked to my surgeon um, last month and he told me to take Marilax. Um, I don't speak to your surgeon and ask them if this is okay, but this is what I was recommending. I got the mix-in pack, so I ain't got to do all that measuring and stuff. Keep it simple, straight to the point. This was like $17.99 at CVS. And um, I mean, it's, it's worrying if I eat my vegetables like I'm supposed to and I take this. I'm fine and I drink my water. Um, you know, I don't expect the bowel movement every single day. I didn't get to that point yet. But um, as far as constipation, I'm not feeling a cramping sensation in my stomach. Or if I do, I um, tend to take this in the morning. So that way um, I don't feel the cramping sensation in my stomach, you know that stuff hurts um so i the constipation varies you know if I, if I take this like i'm supposed to i don't try to take it every day i try to take it like every three days um to just you know make sure everything is flowing good um but as far as like constipation um i haven't really felt any cramping or any like can't sit down so um it's it's, it's been okay it's been okay okay constipation has been okay um about oh, body dysmorphia that's another one i'm dealing with it kind of bad um yeah i am still seeing myself in the mirror as 296 i'm still seeing it and i am seeking therapy for that um we have our little chit chat about 20 minutes about that um how i'm gonna get through that um I, I, I am doing a lot of positive affirmations, especially towards my body to appreciate how far I have came so far. But um, yeah, my body dysmorphia has hit me, I think even worse now that I have lost 50 pounds in two months. 
uh yeah so every other day i am crying about my stomach every other day i am crying about my thighs um but every day is a new day and as i am on my spiritual fast right now that is helping me a lot um especially along with therapy and prayer service so yeah it's real but um yeah that's all i can say you know i'm, I'm dealing with it and i'm just staying as positive as i can um, throughout this process, especially with the positivity of me talking to myself. Um, I noticed that now, since I have went to the doctor this month, um, my blood pressure has been extremely low. But as far as what my primary care doctor has told me, she has stated that it's okay if it's low because I dropped a lot of weight in two months. And she said it's supposed to be like, um, it gives you more years of life or something. If you know about that or you experience that, definitely comment down below your experience or something your doctor told you. Um, but that's as far as she told me. That's something I noticed that was different. My blood pressure is really, really low. Not really, really low. It's not really, really low. It's just low. It's not my normal blood pressure that I am that I know that I, whenever I go to the doctor every single month, I get the same blood pressure, but it's it's not the same now. It's definitely low this month. So um, I, she told me that it could be because of my weight loss, that I lost a lot of weight. Um, as far as hair loss, I haven't lost any hair. Fingers crossed, I haven't lost any hair. But right now I am taking, um, along with my vitamins and my regular medicine, um, I'm taking hair, skin, and nails. This can be found at ShopRite or your local grocery store or CVS or Walgreens or pharmacy. Um, I am taking Advanced with over 2X Biotin, 6,000 MCG, only because I am scared that my hair is going to fall out. Um, I do do my, uh, oil treatment. So that is what I'm doing too, to prevent hair loss. But as far as I know, I haven't lost any hair yet. So fingers crossed with that one. Um, as far as protein shakes, um, right now, since I'm currently on my fast, I cannot consume any milk or dairy products. So I have to do these. Um, and this right now is my favorite one. Like I've tried the mixed berry. I've tried the fruit punch and this one is the citrus lemonade and it is so good. It tastes like lemonade. It's so good. And this is the iso per, and this is 20 grams of protein each one. And, um, I just put this in my water and then by the time I get my 60 ounces in, I already took in my, uh, 60 ounces of water. Because I, I try to do two cups, um, three cups of this, three cups of 12 ounces, and then I'll do like my last cup at the gym, and then I'm good to go with my 64 ounces of water. So this right here is my favorite one, but you guys already know I do the ISO 100 protein powder. I didn't bring that one, but I still didn't finish all of that one, which was the Fruity Pebbles. But you can check out my old videos. They're definitely linked down below um, about those protein powders. Um, but as far as protein shakes, though, um, I must add that now that I'm at eight weeks, I can drink Premier shakes now. I can drink Fair Life shakes. So um, right after I'm finished with my fast, I will be going to get those and finishing up my old ones because that's not going to waste. Okay, the protein powder is like fifty dollars. Um, but yeah, um, I'm gonna finish those and then I'll be heading on to Premier shakes because it was recommended by my surgeon that they want us to wait up to eight weeks for the pre-made shakes so now i can go on to the pre-made shakes which is fair life and um premier shakes um as far as my exercise routine it is phenomenal ever since six weeks oh my god i've been in that gym like crazy i work out five days a week um you guys already know fitness was live so don't even start it okay vsg did not make me go to the gym I was, that only helped me with eating. Trust me, I've been in the gym, taking cycling, taking kickboxing, taking boot camp, um, doing ab work, doing the treadmill, doing the lift machine. I go four, five, four to five days a week. Um, I do make sure I rest two days a week. I have incorporated my weights back. No, I am not back to where I was before, but I am taking it slowly with my weights. Um, so I am working my way back up, but I do feel myself 
every single week I go to the gym, I am definitely getting better. I'm getting stronger. So I'm just trying to keep it up, keep it up. And um, I have my friends cheering me on. I'm back in the gym with my bestie. So it's like, it's just, it's just amazing. It's just, I'm just so happy to be back. And then plus now I am lighter. It's just 10 times worse because, I mean, ten not 10 times worse, 10 times better because I am so much more lighter on my feet and I don't feel like my stomach is just so heavy and my thighs are so heavy. I am just full of energy. I am just, it's just amazing. Like, ugh. I have my days where I go in the gym and I do my 30 minutes, but you know what? I am still in the gym and I am so consistent like I was before. And I am just proud of myself, especially taking the six weeks from the gym and to come back full force was just like, whoo, but definitely speak to your surgeon about going back to the gym and exercising to know what you can and cannot do. Because as far as me, I was clear for everything, lift and weights, everything. So I was like, yes, I'm back. Um, and if you guys know, lifting weights is my thing. I tell you, my friends pick on me all the time. Um, not to rant on, but like my friends pick on me all the time because they say, you can lift so many bags of groceries that don't make no sense upstairs because I'm strong. I'm really strong. Don't let this, don't let this weight fool you. Like I'm really strong. Um, as far as my clothes fitting, they're fitting different. I'm getting back into my old clothes. Um, even though mixed in with the body dysmorphia, you know, I am still getting back into my old clothes and I am feeling amazing, okay? Because before the surgery, if you guys didn't know, I know you didn't know because I spoke to my best friend about it. Um, she know that it was a battle for me to even put my skinny clothes back up and not be able to be like, I don't even want to see this until I drop a lot of weight. And to be going into it piece by piece and breaking that oh well let me wait till i'm skinny and then i'll go in the closet no i started going back into the closet i started putting back on my old clothes and trust me they are fitting so that is what is pushing me to keep going to the gym to keep eating healthy is to see that my body is changing back into who i was um as far as anything else i think that's it that concludes my video um, I know this video was very long, but I needed to let you guys know every single bullet of what was going on with me within the past two months. And, um, you know, definitely comment down below any questions you may have, any videos you want me to do. Um, I am open to suggestions, feedback, doesn't matter. If you have not hit that subscribe button, okay, hit that subscribe button, that bell notification so you'll know when I post these videos, okay? Thank you guys for watching. Bye.